Hey folks, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Van Camp 402. My name's Dave. I like to do a little weekly van camp in here. They've never stopped here before. We are at the Blackbird Hill Scenic Overlook. We're gonna pull up here, we're gonna see what's going on. Probably gonna throw the drone up real quick. We're gonna get this adventure started. See that river back there behind me? is very cool but we are at uh, blackbird overlook we have uh, one more stop maybe two more stops before we get to camp it's been kind of a cool adventure already i'm already already grooving on this put you guys right there for a second stay <laughs> hopefully you stay there our next stop going to be kind of interesting it is the actual blackbird hill and Blackbird Hill, everything I've read, I think a lot of it's been debunked as far as what's going on on the hill. It has a history of, and I want to say it's like October 17th, there is spirit that shows up and you can hear the screams of a woman. I don't think there's anything true about any of that. I do want to just show up. It is on private property, so we cannot access it. We're going to leave the uh, scenic overview and head over to Blackbird Hill. All right, we're getting out here real quick. And I probably am not gonna fly the drone here real quick. It wouldn't hurt though to throw that thing up real, real fast. Let's get the dogs out here. We're just sitting on top of a gravel road hill. And I'm not gonna show you where I'm at. If you wanna look up where Blackbird Hill is, I'm not gonna give you a pin drop or anything from everything, all, my, all the research I've done. But this is private property here. I don't want to desecrate anything or be a, be inappropriate. We're just going to stand here, enjoy this view, and this is a beautiful spot. As far as Nebraska goes, this little corner up here, just north of Tecama up to like Sioux City, this little area here that runs along the river, spectacularly beautiful. That's why I wanted to camp up here. It's so close to Omaha, and it's really, I don't know, unexplored for me. have made it to our destination just got to figure out a campsite here not exactly sure what's going on and i'll show you i think uh one of the uh, property managers is going to show up here so i think they saw me uh, pulling in i don't know if we uh i think maybe we do uh we do this site right here 20 bucks a night with electric and looks like there's a fire pit off that way I pull in this way with the van and have the uh, door facing that way this time. Just want to be in the shade a little bit, you know. Gonna wait a second. Oh, here they come. 
<laughs> they're coming down this way. As you can see, I left the windows open for two seconds and a bunch of flies. It's that time of year. Said for me to run back up to the uh, like main headquarters there. I didn't see an Iron Ranger or anything. It's kind of an interesting camp. It's, uh, <laughs> I asked him like, is all the power working? And uh, he's like, well, I think so. Just a uh, cool little adventure. But we're gonna run back up here and see about getting paid and getting checked in. And it looks like we have the whole place for ourselves. How you guys doing, huh? Well, Justin, uh, nice to meet you. I just met the uh, park ranger here, and he did tell me that there is some buffalo out this way. I did kind of get the third degree. We can talk all about that in a little bit. Well, folks, I'm uh, I'm debating. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't uh, didn't have a great interaction with the ranger here i don't know it was just kind of weird and maybe i said the wrong thing probably said the wrong thing i don't know i don't know about camping here tonight to be honest with you just didn't get a uh, real warm welcome and sometimes i just need to keep my mouth shut on uh, just interested in history and nation has to offer and just didn't feel uh, super welcomed <laughs> into uh into this campground we're gonna look at a couple options here and we might just head out. It's It kind of stinks, I don't know. And I hate to tell you this folks, uh, and maybe I'll edit all this out, I don't know. It's not a bad campground. I try and be respectful of cultures and people. This is what frustrates me with the interaction I had with the ranger was, he was asking me some questions. I thought we were just kind of talking and I was answering honestly. And I kind of felt like it was a big uh, bait and switch at the end i just didn't feel very welcome here <laughs> might be my own doing like i said and i don't know if i'm going to be able to enjoy a night in camp here we're going to uh get back to the rig do some re-evaluating here all right we have camp set up fan running we do have power which is really nice I think there's water. Oh, there's a couple spigots out here I can see from where I'm at right now. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna go do a little walk down to the river. Let's uh, head on down. I am geared up. I got the drone and then every camera item I own is in the back. Do a little bit of a walk here and uh, go down and check out the Missouri River. gonna walk up to the trash here real quick let's do a quick little walk and talk this is a tough subject right seems like every single camp that I've been on usually very positive interaction most Rangers most folks you feel like hey they want they want you here I try and wrap my head around the indigenous people's plight do I understand like a Native American absolutely not I have no idea no idea to get browbeated as I'm checking in for a camp on why I'm here. Just say you don't want me here. Don't, don't do the bait and switch. Like, oh yeah, we'd love to have you down. And then, well, you need to get educated on indigenous people's plight. 
I don't know that I can recommend this as a campground. That's what I'm trying to get at. The flies are horrible. They do have a small herd of buffalo here. With buffalo comes buffalo waste. The flies are, are challenging. There are sand, oh, there are sandburrs. Not the cleanest campground I've ever been in. The bathrooms are not great and I wouldn't want one of my kids going in one of those bathrooms. They're a mess. Would I stay here again? No. Would I want you to stay here? I would not. A lot of, lot of other options. Beautiful country, beautiful area. Facilities aren't great. Uh, let me stay here so you don't have to. It was interesting when I was talking with Justin. Folks, I try not to be negative at all on these videos. I'm camping. I'm out here, you know, I'm out here. But it, what was tough was after I got a, after I got the lecture, then it was, oh, well, hey, make sure you give us a good review. <laughs> was like, really? <laughs> okay. Let's walk over to the trash here. I'll show you what's going on. This is kind of part of what I'm saying with this park. There's some very interesting things. You go to a Nebraska State Park. We're in Nebraska right now. You don't find piles of trash within the actual park itself. I don't know if that's a burn pile. What's, I think folks are just driving back here dumping stuff. I'm sure it's an ongoing battle. And you can see by the dumpster is completely overflowing. It's a beautiful area. We got the Missouri River is just a stone's throw from here. Work our way back here. We are gonna swing by and I will show you the restrooms that are available. I'll be open and honest with it. I'll show you what's going on in here. Sorry for the lighting, uh, walking into some trees. I do have a pickup truck that just pulled in, kind of moving around. We'll see what happens with this. Hopefully I don't have to talk to anybody anymore. I think at one time, this was a pretty nice bathroom. I'm gonna turn the light out. Maybe that keeps the bugs from getting in there so bad. Uh, but it's kind of a mess and I'm gonna shut the door. It's open, so they get a, a quarter of a thumb. It's not clean. The ambiance is not great. All right, so we're walking in this one real quick. This side isn't as bad, I'll be honest. Let's see, does this work? Yeah, this side's a lot cleaner. It, and I'm in the same building. Turn that light out and shut this door. I don't know. Huh? S somebody's shooting over here. <laughs> Great. Just keeps getting better. <laughs> Perfect for what's going on at this camp. There's uh, sandburrs everywhere down here and it's because it's been so dry. They do have, right behind me here, you can see there's a uh, couple of cabins. I think there's uh, three right along this row. This one here is propped open. The door is actually open a little bit. I'm just gonna poke my head in. Let's show you what they have going on for some cabins here. rustic if you had to in a pinch stuff like that like the door doesn't close even like trying to keep it closed it's nice to be able to see one so that cabin is right next to the van here
we're rocking the Red Bull. Guess who has two thumbs and forgot to uh, refill the coffee from our last camp? This guy. <laughs> We don't have any coffee this morning. Beautiful morning in camp. We are going to uh, get a couple things picked up here. I do have a little bit of fire from last night still going. You know what, hey, let's walk over here real quick. Let's talk about last night a little bit. So yesterday for dinner, which was kind of weird, I did not eat and it was, uh, I didn't eat all day. It was kind of a weird deal. I had breakfast around 10 a.m. yesterday. My stomach was hurting pretty good. I was not hungry all day, like all day long. I had some chicken noodle soup at 10 a.m. yesterday. And then last night at like 9.30, I made, I had one of those bag salads I was gonna make and I was gonna do a uh, grilled chicken salad for dinner. I just couldn't eat yesterday at all. If I had a bug or something maybe, but that's why we didn't do dinner. Just kind of hung out. We had a really solid fire. Not a bad campsite at all. Not a bad camp. It's not a great campground. Just not a lot to show. Like I said in the title, I stayed here so that you don't have to. I don't know that I recommend it. I wouldn't say to a buddy, hey, go up there and camp. It was a blast. So that was our uh, dinner last night was we didn't have any. I do think we got some great pictures. That was our evening last night. I pretty much, I watched a couple of the YouTube channels. We ha actually had a fairly early bedtime. Packed up here, like I said, I don't have coffee. Thank goodness I have that Red Bull in there. I had, uh, had one tucked away just in case. Comes in handy, you know. But we're gonna uh, finish getting picked up here and we're gonna get out of here. All right, as we're getting uh, packed up here, just wanted to show you folks uh, the power box. Um, it is a little dated. It did work, so appreciate that. I can't get to the switch in there. The switch is kind of just a little off camber, but this is pretty much this campsite. And I would say, and I'm gonna spin you around, sorry about that. I would say that one over there are probably your top two to go for. Justin did say that they do all have power. It just needs to be updated a little bit, but it worked. I'm guessing they probably get some pretty good flooding down here, battling that every year with uh, spring thaws. But these two campsites, and there's no posts, there's no getting a tag, anything like that. So, which is kind of interesting, different than a, a normal campground. I'm gonna get this uh, unplugged and we're gonna see you on the road. We've got the fire put out. I think we have everything picked up except for the uh, levelers and the dogs. We gotta get the dogs in here, right? Not a horrible camp, not a great camp. And definitely interesting. Thanks for coming along. I am gonna uh, jump up here and get in the ride and uh, we're gonna get on the road. If we see anything interesting on the way home, we are gonna stop. All right, let's hop up in the rig and get on the road.